Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Camera Tuesday. In today's episode, I'm gonna tell you guys to not buy Nikon Z series camera and EOS R. Please wait. So allow me to explain myself. The reason why I want you guys to wait is simply because Sony has delayed its launch. Basically, Sony's launch is supposed to happen on Photokina or at least an announcement that they are releasing a new camera because their cycle, basically photos, photo cameras generally take two years of cycle and uh, you know, computer graphics are take three years cycle. So basically, Sony is supposed to release the camera, their time is up, but they haven't. Not even an announcement came out of it. And the executive, Sony executives that were there in Photokina, flat out made it clear they are working to improve the product. They want to make sure the product is uh, mind-boggling things of that nature in those sort of scenario i would urge you guys to wait now this uh, three horse race becomes much more complicated now that panasonic has entered the market panasonic is a dark horse now let's uh, understand canon what they came out with is very poor from canon's own standard like if you take canon dslr as a standard like okay this is canon dslr how good they are versus uh, Canon EOS R, it's not very good. Then we look at Nikon series options. They are also a very weak camera. Under no summary, you can't say neither of these cameras are bad, but one of them are poor. I will explain why more in the later in the video. And another one is a very weak camera. And that also I will explain. Now, all of these things, the fact that Sony has delayed it, the fact that Panasonic is coming out with a full frame camera, now that will lead into inevitable price drop this is the reason why i want you guys to wait because as many of you remember sony a7 uh, mark 3 version was two thousand dollar but canon 6d mark 2 when it came out was also two thousand dollar what happens after that camera came out sony camera came out the price dropped hit as low as sixteen hundred dollars so four hundred dollars of price saving happened because a competitor released a camera that was mind-bogglingly uh, you know uh, awesome so in those sort of scenario now there are two uh, things that are about to come out this will mean inevitably if even one of them are good you're gonna have a very serious price drop on both of these camera canon and nikon so on nikon i have already made a video you can check it out here but i'm gonna give you a rough idea the reason why i want you guys to wait is like z7 is out and it's uh, let's just say it's not uh, winning over many hearts it's not a bad camera but under no circumstances anybody is saying like you know this is a nikon's camera this is again nikon is going back to their amateurish days where uh, the product is not as polished as it's supposed to be because nikon is uh, uh, as a camera company never releases firmware this is the first time they are like oh we're gonna release a firmware oh we're gonna release a firmware update so I would say because Z7 is a high megapixel camera, the performance will be improved if you reduce the megapixel and you will get better low light performance, should get a improved autofocus performance also, hopefully. So I would urge you guys to wait and the reason why I am finally disappointed with Nikon is their own executives are saying Z series cameras are not aimed at professional Z6 and Z7. Now why does that piss people off is simply because the cost of Nikon D850 it's almost similar if not cheaper than these uh, you know not for pro camera. So cost is the uh, serious factor here it's like why you are charging so much if you are releasing a camera that cannot be used by pro. They themselves came out with that but uh, for some reason they are not reducing the price and if you are a serious photographer i would urge you to re seriously reconsider d850 now you will give up two things you will give up the mobility aspect basically the camera is bigger and heavier and you will give up electronic viewfinder all things considered the performance gain that you will get from this because this has banding the nikon camera has banding if you try to push the highlights which you have to do if you have to do like let's say wildlife photography low light photography of things of that nature banding in those sort of scenario is unacceptable and nikon da50 has better autofocus so it does not matter if your camera is light but if it misses focus no point in it even uh, fro knows photos who's a very prominent nikon shooter he's also like yeah this is not at you know this is just not acceptable nikon's autofocus system while using the face detection basically when you're using the viewfinder not on screen one the that was almost on par if not better than canon's they have scooped that up 
so i would urge you guys if you are serious about photography if full frame photography is something important and if you really ha already have nikon lenses look into d850 you may be happier or if you really want to go into mirrorless uh, wait till z6 comes out so what about canon now canon released a camera with bad firmware they are also like okay we're gonna release a firmware update we're gonna fix this issue because uh, many of you know they try to release what we call eye autofocus because basically right now i'm using a uh, face autofocus this area is getting a square box and it's focusing on that but uh, the next generation of camera will always have what we call eye autofocus basically it will focus here uh, again that only works on one click basically you are like you take the photo it focuses on it you go to burst mode it's flat out disables it so they are saying they're gonna fix it in firmware which the firmware hasn't been released yet then we come to the fact that it has bad autofocus Canon has bad autofocus I have provided link in the down below that you can easily see uh, about uh, Canon system where they have like uh, DP reviews are done a video and I have also provided time code in those two time code you can easily see cameras you know doing hunting and breathing and uh, it's a crippled camera and for to understand that aspect of it crippled camera please check out my video on this uh, it's a full version of that and I would urge you guys to please pay attention to the fact that people who are using all full frame cameras they are saying flat out video is not sharp enough and this is the factor basically you're not getting full frame if you're going 4k you are getting only that much uh, which is smaller than micro four third and it's also not sharp not even sharp in full HD so all things considered Canon has made a very weak entry I would like I am trusting my Canon EOS 800D to focus on my face and it's doing that and somehow uh, they came up with a camera that cost you know three to four times more than this and somehow misses focus in a simple scenario it wasn't like you know he was a uh, you know surrounded by people so his camera you know got confused it was like trees are in the background and his face was in front and somehow it missed it so please check out that dp review video and uh, just play the time code it has focus breathing and uh, it's also not a good camera so this has been requested of me for many times that I do a video about Sony uh, A7. The reason I didn't do a specific video because you have to look at it as a system. Can you buy this camera and lenses and uh, other accessories and be happy with it? I have, I'm very happy to say yes. At this point in time, this system is the only one that can destroy Nikon and Canon. The simple reason is Sony have lenses. Now you might be like, okay, doesn't Canon or Nikon has 300 lenses series? Yes. They have 300 plus lenses in both of them but problem is native lens i'm only counting the lens that you can just simply pick up put on your camera and be done with it sony uh, you know outmatches all of them at this point because both of them have only four four lenses and so uh, not to mention nikon also nikon and canon both did not open their lens mount system there are uh, rumors that canon some canon lenses are not working as in third party lenses from sigma or tamron are not working properly but they are only rumor in nikon side it's so bad that sigma flat out released a, a pardon me sigma or tamron i'm not sure they released a flat out notice to their customer that we are looking looking into the fact that uh, uh, lens is not working as it's supposed to so be mindful that's why i am not very comfortable with the idea of adapters the the reason because uh, they did not open their lens mount all the lens third party lens is reverse engineered so it does not have the true data that uh, you know uh, so adapter would be looking for so it will not work properly this is why i'm saying at this point if you buy a sony camera like like this is your first camera this is where you want to start your you know photography hobby or career or you know vlogging you will find you have much more lenses available for sony than you have uh, either nikon or canon and not to mention sony opened their lens mount and now you can have sigma r series lenses which are lenses that uh, those people who like it they say this lenses are the only thing that comes close to canon l series glass so they are quite good and uh, Sony also makes uh, excellent lens of their own and this lens is very interesting to me because this is a zoom lens and it has power zoom so you don't even have to rotate this is this lens is specifically focused for videography but the fact is you have that option so the system is already tested now it does have some hiccups but they are also releasing pro support system so that is also figured out large lens selection now the only thing they are not have is flip out screen will they add flip out screen i will put that probability to be very low 
very low probability that they're gonna put flip out screen and uh, th this is the core aspect this this series of camera a7 mark 3 it's so advanced that there are only few possibility left like the first thing i think they're gonna improve if they want to improve is they're gonna give two uhs2 card slot right now they have only one uhs2 card slot uh, that's the only thing they can upgrade and of course they're gonna refine the system their eye autofocus has been upgraded to a point where now it can focus on animals eye birds eye yes it has upgraded that's what they announced in photokina so at this point if you want starting out new sony flat out you know all hands uh, you know hands down is a system that is better in every single aspect the fact that if you might have Nikon lenses, you might be, you know, in the, especially if you have Nikon third party lenses, you are in a very serious danger that they may not work with other systems. So this is Sony and uh, I'm uh, like, I really urge you guys to wait because if they release a camera that is, you know, price competitive as A7 Mark III was, again, you can, you might be buying a Canon camera that is like, let's say $2,300 and Sony comes out at again, 2,000, the Canon price will go down. And at that point, you're gonna be like, okay, why did I bought it so early? So let's talk about the dark horse in the room, Panasonic. Now, the reason why I call Panasonic a dark horse because it's untested, even though their camera is tested, even though their feature set is, uh, you know, groundbreaking, it's not tested simply because their autofocus system is their weakest link. And they are saying they are using uh, contrast detect. Now, benefit of contrast detect, sensor is cheaper and it has no banding issue. Okay. And third, the core reason why anybody even wants to use contrast detect is better. Uh, it has better sharpness because it you relies on sharpness. Even if the uh, you know lens is misaligned, it will still uh, give you the best possible outcome in terms of sharpness. So that's why it's contrast based. Now, problem with that, it requires it to do hunting. Now they are saying they are bypassing this issue by using what's called AI. Now this may be a buzzword. This may actually mean they have a you know face detect or autofocus system where it detects a face, it focuses on it, and then slowly pushes it. Not like you know go back and forth full throughout the range of the lens and AI can really predict it like you know if this is a face and I'm like you know I'm gonna move the focusing element this much it's gonna be like you know moving out of the fo you know focus range so there may be some probability that this might actually work if it works this dark horse is gonna be like a winning horse and they already have lens selection because as you can check out in my video about Panasonic here the Panasonic uh, tried to, uh, you know, come out with a bank and they are directly partnering up with uh, Leica. They already had a partnership with their uh, other lineup also. So this partnership is taking it to the next step where they are using L mount. Uh, basically, this is Leica mount. There are already Leica lenses, very high quality lenses, which you may find they are idiotically overpriced, but there are third party lenses available. So please look into those things. And uh, flat out because of that reason they already have more lenses than Nikon and Canon combined so they have solved the lens issue and not to mention they are also coming up with Sigma and since the lens mount is open Sigma will release uh, Sigma can easily flood the market with good lenses uh, in very short amount of time so they already solved the lens issue and it only needs one thing it just needs good autofocus that's it like other than that Panasonic has nailed down every other aspect of the camera now what about flip out screen they might add it. Uh, check my full video, you will understand why I'm saying this. Now, this was my presentation on why you should wait before you buy either a Canon or Nikon. I hope you liked it or learned from it. In that case, please leave a like. If you didn't, no worry about it, dislike it. And I would urge you to, you know, comment what you want to see in the next episode of uh, Camera Tuesday. And please subscribe, share it amongst your friends. It really helps me out. And if you are free, press the bell icon. And as always, thanks for watching.